where, where do you think the search is going? You obviously see everything that's going on in, in, in the area. Where, where is it going at the moment? So search today does not understand real world things like you and I do. To search Taj Mahal is just two words next to each other. But in real world, you know that it's a beautiful monument or it's a Grammy winning musician or it may be a casino in Atlantic City or your neighborhood Indian restaurant. And search will move in a direction where search engines will understand these real world things like you and I do, because that would open up doors to a new kind of search that we haven't experienced yet. From a marketer or brand perspective, how important will that development be, do you think? Well, from user perspective, it's a really, really important change. And as users trust search more, uh, Time and time again, they search more, which benefits all marketers and brands. And you're obviously being asked an awful lot about what's happening when it comes to the social platforms. Uh, where, where is Google going with that and how important, well, is Google Plus and all of this? Yeah, Google Plus uh, has been a great product for Google. It's, it's growing at a very healthy rate. And uh, clearly, uh, search will also have content from your own universe, not just the open universe, things like pictures you've shared with your family which are not public. And we are very excited about the possibilities in that space. Uh, we just uh, have started out with Search Plus Your World as the first step in that direction that, that we dream uh, of. And uh, in time, we will realize our dream of making Search more social. That's currently the only running in the US as far as I know. How, how, is, that, how is that developing there? Uh, we are, uh, as always, Google launches products and, and learns and iterates, and that's the process we are in with our social search. One of the main talking points um, when people are talking about Google at the moment is the recent Penguin launch. How much of a change is that going to mean for search? Uh, Penguin was a very good launch. All of our testing uh, showed that it was a very positive launch for our users. As you know, we scientifically test every change that we make. There's, there's deep science behind it, and we have put out some videos as well showing you how we actually test our algorithms. And uh, Penguin has been a great advance uh, from a user perspective to our search quality. One of the things you were talking about earlier on was uh, your dream of uh, developing a computer just like that in Star Trek. Could you tell us how close you think we are to that? Uh, so when I started out as a young graduate student in the field of language, I thought we wouldn't get that computer in my lifetime. But with what we have achieved in the last 20 years since I started in this field, I am now sure that we will get a Star Trek computer in my lifetime uh, somewhere between 10 to 20 years from now. Well, what needs to happen to, to make sure, uh, yet to make sure that that happens? Uh, several things need to come together. Uh, for example, uh, the key thing is that computers need to understand real world things like you and I do, which they don't today. So that's one of the steps that we are already uh, looking at in that direction. Clearly speech recognition has made great advances and it'll have more improvements. And at the same time, several other pieces of the puzzle will come together for, for my dream Star Trek computer to be built. Speech, uh, uh, speech and commanding um when it comes to search and using uh, mobile phones still seems to be in its infancy. Do you think that's got a long way to go yet? Uh, it will rapidly improve because the penetration of mobile devices is huge and smartphones are growing exponentially in this world. So I, I feel that mobile search would be far better in the coming couple of years than it is today because we would have more users out there uh, using their mobile phones and we would be able to understand user needs better. We're hearing an awful lot about the death of uh, the, the, the desktop computer. When Google develops a new device, what, what, how do you look at that? Do you look at mobile now taking over that? Well, where, where, where are the priorities? Uh, our priorities are indeed both on mobile and desktop and tablets as well. So we don't leave any device behind because we have to uh, search, uh, give a great search experience on every device. And, and the beauty of the modern design is that you can take a tablet and keep it in portrait mode. It looks closer to a mobile phone and then you can turn it around and make it in landscape mode, it looks more like a desktop. And, and those are the designs that we are looking for. Our priority is very much not only on mobile, on just phones, on tablet as well as on desktop.